Welcome back. I am ready to learn the art of fencing. I'm going to be the worst student you've ever had. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Really? But, uh, yeah, everybody starts off uh, in our clubs either from the beginning or very little knowledge anyway, so Excellent. it's never a problem. Okay, making me feel good. I'm joined by Nick Chan. He is a coach here at the Deep River and Petawawa Fencing Club. How long have you been fencing for? Um, I guess since probably about 13 years now. Okay, and what made you get into it? I uh, started up in university and uh, just wanted to try it out and got hooked ever since. Awesome. What, what do you like about it? Um, it's, well, it kind of brings back romanticism, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, you think about movies and Zorro and everything, and that's what all the kids think about. As soon as they watch a movie, they get hooked into it right. that way. You're it's like, oh, I want to try it out. <laughs> You're a Canadian mask of Zorro. <laughs> okay, so uh, talk to me a little bit about the um, co uh, outfit, I was going to call it a costume, uh, the equipment that you've suited me up in. Okay, so first things first, I guess you have the jacket, mm -hmm. okay? Um, just Generally, it's a, just a cotton jacket. Mm -hmm. um, and the other jackets will have a little bit of Kevlar in it. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have your mask here. Yep. So make sure that you, if you get hit in the face, that nothing happens to you. Right, and it's got the little net guard as well, right, to protect your throat. That's right. Okay. And uh, then you have a glove mm -hmm. on, um, about the same type of material, a little bit of extra padding so that you don't hurt your knuckles or anything. Right. And then, of course, your weapon. So what we're holding is actually a foil. There's actually three different weapons in, in fencing. Okay, and what are the three different ones? So aside from foil, the other one is epee, and then the last one, which is my favorite, is saber. Um, all of them have slightly different rules, mm -hmm. but the uh, basic techniques are relatively the same. <laughs> okay, so but all made out of the same material? Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, very interesting. And I've also got a chest plate on as well, right? That's right. So do you have one on? No, I no. don't. <laughs> okay. Gen generally, it's mostly for girls, or in some cases, if um, there's any piercings or whatnot. <laughs> right, you would wear it. Yes. Okay, so if it was my very first time fencing, what's the first thing that you would teach me? How to parry. So basically how you would defend yourself if somebody were to try to hit you. Okay, you want to show me? Sure. <laughs> okay, so what do I, I guess I should put on my yep. mask. So we would get okay. our masks on. Yep. <laughs> okay, so the very first thing, um, it's two parries. So the first one is a card parry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you keep your tip up. Okay. And then you actually just, so first things I guess is the footwork. Yep. <laughs> so you get your feet into kind of like a little L here. Yeah. You, you take a small step, so about shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. and you sit down, bend your knees. Okay. There we go. With your hands, elbows in, and your hands kind of holding like a teacup. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so when you do a parry, um, you actually use just your arm, okay. and you're pushing across the body with the tip up. Okay. So you want to go and push just enough across the body. That's okay. right. And just to, so if I'm trying to hit you, yeah. all you're doing is pushing the blade out of the way. So right. if I was to try and go forward, okay. I would just completely miss your body. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> so I'm pushing you away. Okay. That's right. I and have a lot after, to learn. And then after you do a parry, you do a repost because, well, uh, you're going to try and get the point afterwards. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ah, I there win. <laughs> okay, I have a lot more to learn, obviously. So uh, throughout the morning, I'll uh, make an attempt to move forward, and then we'll see some of you guys uh, have about stick around. That's all coming up from Petawala a little bit later on CTV Morning Live.